it's time for another art roast. I hope you guys are ready. I mean, you submitted your work, so it's time for the next Hemi Trash Talks Your Art. So let's go. Hey people, it's Temi if you're new here and it's Tuesday today, but it's not time for a Temi's tirade because I've started this Temi Trash Shorts Your Art where I just come to critique your artwork. And do you guys want to see this once a month, maybe every last Tuesday of the month? Well, let me know down in the comments, but for today, I told you guys to hashtag Terminators on your work and some of you guys I'm seeing hashtag Terminated. That's not what I said, Terminated. <laughs> But yes, I've gone through the hashtag and I will criticize some of your work. I've got my phone here, so I will be looking down at my phone, but let's get straight to it. So I'm going to start with this one from Clara X Delilah. And I absolutely love this. I love Shuri. I love Black Panther. I just think it came out really nice. Like you can tell instantly who it is, which is very nice. And I love her so much because she's a tech genius and you guys know I'm an engineer. So I'm just here for female representation in that space. I think you did a pretty good job on proportions maybe spent a little bit longer on it, but for actual detail, you've got nice values. So you've got the lightest points, you've got the darkest points and you've got some nice midtones, but you wanna work on blending and you wanna make sure that you have a seamless transition between all of them. And then detail wise, you've done a really nice job on the braids. Braids are not easy and you have done a fine job. Um, but braids don't just start from nothing. So on the scalp where the braids are collecting hair from, you need hair to go into each braid. I hope that makes sense. So you just wanna actually draw the dark hair because at the moment the braids look like she's bald and then they just put braids on top of her head. Do you know what I mean? So you need the hair that's being gathered for each braid. I really hope that makes sense. But for the garment as well, you definitely want some more detail, you want some more values and you want more blending. I think those are your next steps to focus on, but well done because this is a very nice drawing. Next, we've got this one from Christopher B. Art. And this is very nice. This is very lovely. I wonder what medium this is. This looks like a canvas. Is this painted? An oil painting, you use hashtag oil painting. So it's an oil painting. Wow, okay, incredible, incredible. You've done an amazing job. Oils are not easy to use and you have done such a great job. So well done. Pat on the back for the hands also because hands are so difficult. So, so, so difficult. And you've got so much detail in there. I'm there for the hands. Also, this flower, I would love to see you do a painting of a flower. I think this flower is just incredible. The detail in there, Chris, can I call you Chris? <laughs> I think it's just beautiful, so well done. Improvements wise, so for the skin tone, I'm gonna need you to add more of those colors. So if you watch my last Hemi Trash Talks, I was speaking a lot about, you know, the purples for the shadows, the greens, the blues, you know, things that will actually make the skin look alive. It's definitely missing that. To me, it looks like you just put a flesh tone down, maybe some pinks, maybe some yellows, and then some brown for the shadows. And you definitely want to include all of those other colors because at times, especially for the shadowed areas, it's starting to look muddy and that's not what you want so ditch that burnt umbar it's great for the hair but ditch it for the skin also you can definitely add more details so you've done a great job with like the flow of the hair but you want to add more detail so that we can see you know some loose strands some sharper highlight points as well some deeper shadows in the hair and also with the motion of the hair i really wish i could explain this better and maybe in the future i'll end up doing a full hair tutorial but with certain locks of hair you want some deeper shadows i like that you went deeper with the shadows towards the bottom but you want to do that all the way through and finally detail wise you know the eyelashes the eyebrows we want those lighter highlight strands in the eyebrows we want some more detail in the lashes this is a great start you have done a fantastic job and you should be so proud of yourself next we've got art by fatima and this is beautiful this is so beautiful i love the purple tones in the background as well i think it's just a nice subtle color and I really like the detail in the face. You've got great proportions and you've really captured in the drawing the joy that she exudes from this pic. Well done, fantastic job. It's great to see some more detailed shots as well. Points of improvement. Okay, this looks like paint again, maybe. Yeah, I can't tell. Points of improvement will be detail. And to be honest, I know that it's not easy to add detail with paint. Just find a smaller paintbrush. <laughs> I haven't used paints in so long. It's gonna be difficult for me to say but you definitely want to add more detail. So I wish I saw more detail in her eyelashes and her eyebrows, but also with the skin tone, I feel like I'm missing some warmer colors. I feel like there's a warmth that I'm really missing in her skin. So you want to add some more of the warmer colors and same with the shadows. I am seeing some purples, but I'm seeing a lot of brown. 
And yeah, just detail wise, if you could add some more detail into the hair and also to her scarf so that we could really get the flowy feel. I feel like that would just tie this together if you could ace those little bits, but well done. Now we've got this one by K2908 underscore works. And this is beautiful. Michaela is looking beautiful. I am shook. The way you've captured her skin, the way you captured the deep rich tones like people are always so scared with dark skin especially in graphite to just get the deepest 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 shadows her skin looks radiant it looks beautiful the highlights the shadows beautiful work beautiful work even let's not forget the detail in the hair her bantu knots are really knotting i am here for it all of the strands the person that i spoke about with the braids look at how the hair gathers into each of these bantu knots that's how you want the hair to gather into each of the braids for shuri from earlier but this is just beautiful you have done an amazing job the only points of improvement i would say are maybe the proportions so to me it looks like and it's hard to say without a reference but it looks like it's almost like a bottom view like her shoulders look a lot bigger than her head so i just don't know if it's out of proportion or what it is or maybe it is how the reference is but that just looks a little bit odd to me and then my other point of detail will probably be the shoulders and the back i think you've done such a fantastic job on the face and it's a shame to me to see that the back didn't get as much care so the blend doesn't feel as smooth and to be fair like i appreciate the fact that once the face for me is detailed, I don't really care what anything else is doing. <laughs> so I completely get that. But, you know, just to get a bit of a smoother blend with the back would just tie this whole thing together, honestly. But you have done such a beautiful job. I am so here for this. Next, we've got this one from Ristina Nicole. I hope I said that right. But she looks stunning. You have done a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful job. I love your drawing style. I just think it's such a unique style and I'm so here for it. I'm so here for it. I think it's so beautiful. Point of improvement, I would say the skin looks a little too saturated for me. And if the hair also matched this saturation, then I would think maybe it's just a picture or maybe it's just a style. The hair kind of juxtaposes it a little bit, which is good, but the skin is just too saturated is my point. So I wish you had less orange in the skin. But I'm also kind of here for this monochromatic look. I'm not gonna lie. I think detail wise, it's beautiful. And I love how you colored in the glasses, but the, yeah, the skin is just too orange is the conclusion. And same with the shoulder, like, is that the shoulder? It just, the shoulder doesn't seem to match this illustration. I'm not really sure what's going on. So if you had better colors in the shadows, like how you've got different shadow colors by the neck and it looks like you've only got brown. So we're gonna need to expand that a little bit. But if you had better shadows, I think it would, blending better this shoulder but the detail in the lips the lip gloss is just looking so succulent the lips look amazing the other thing is the hair i think the hair the way you've drawn it just flows beautifully it's absolutely amazing the only thing i would say about the hair is that i wish the black blended better into the blue and the way you can do this especially on this right side it's just like really changing the lengths of the strands they all kind of start at a very similar point and you almost have a rhythmic pattern to where sections start and stop but you just want to really go out of that you want to really follow the flow the flow that you've managed to achieve you really want to follow it but you want to blend it in a little bit more so that it's not such a sudden difference between the main highlight area which is white then the blue and then the black but it's a fantastic start so well done Next, we've got this one from Akila Olive L. And this is beautiful. It just captured my attention. This hair, oh my gosh, I love, I'm, I'm actually in awe. I wish my afro was that big. She just looks stunning. I'm so here. Like this hair, the detail, I just think you have done a fantastic job. And the hair for me really is the focal point. And I think you, it's such a great start but points of improvement. So you've started really well with like where th some of the shadows are going in the hair. And I think it's a good start, but I want to see you filling in more areas so that the hair really starts to look full. And you've done it a little bit down towards the bottom, but yeah, I just want to see it looking a little bit more full. And then going to the actual face, I want to see more highlights and shadows. So obviously that side of the face will cast deeper shadows, but I want to see more of a contrast. It looks to me like you just kind of shaded it and you just left it at one value. And to be fair, because the hair is such a focal point, it's also, you know, not that deep. But at the same time, I just want to see a little bit more care there. Okay, now we've got this one from Artrageous underscore kid. 
And it's Miss Nicki Minaj. She's such a great muse, right? I'm really, really loving this. I think it's great that you have the reference in the picture, but because of the light from the reference, it's hard to see your drawing to the fullest capacity. So I would say if you're taking this kind of picture again, what you should do is that you should put your drawing in focus so that all of the light is coming from your drawing and you won't be able to see the picture very well, but you can actually edit the picture digitally back into the phone screen. That, and that would just help us see the drawing even better because the drawing is why we're here, right? And for the actual drawing, I think you've done a fine job. You've done a really nice job with the hair. The baby hair is really looking cute. Well done for that. And same with the skin tone. I think you've got a really nice skin tone and you've also got a great likeness. Just looking at your drawing, I can tell that it's Nicki Minaj already, even without the photo next to it. So I think you've done a fantastic job. Now for improvement, um, the proportions, you have done a nice job in the proportions, but some parts of it are a little bit off. So, for example, her chin. If you look at the reference, I think you've made her chin a little too long. So if that was shortened a little bit, then it would look a little bit more like her. But also your shadows. I wish you went deeper with your shadows. I can see that you've started it, but I just want you to go even a step further. I think that would just really ace it. And detail wise, so the hair looks great and it's mostly packed back. So we can't see too much of it, which is fine. The head shape, I think could be improved a little bit. The eyebrows, I see what you started to do because you want it to fade in. You don't just want it to be a block. However, I don't know that that is a good fade. It's kind of hard to explain, but if you look at eyebrows, especially on someone that has makeup on, it will always be darker towards the end, but towards the start, it's not just going to be a fade. The fade is like a nice base layer. And then the actual individual strands is what will help it look snatched and together. And I guess my last point of improvement for you is the earrings. I think it's a good start, but it's definitely missing the gold feel. So just watch what colors you're using. You want to bring in a little bit more browns, especially on the left. I think you've done a good job of the shadows but again if the shadows were even deeper and if you had more of a brown blend before you got to the yellow I think that is, that's what would make it look more realistic and then for the actual highlights you want the sharpest white so grab a white pen and put in the sharpest sharpest highlights and that would just improve the earrings but it's a great start so well done okay so we've got this one from hey.jasper and oh, I love caricatures. I think they're so, so, so nice. And it looks like you've done a fine job. I don't know if this is your style, but I really love, you know, this big face in focus and then the body just, you know, tiny. I really, really love that. And I think you've done a fantastic job. I love how the proportions, even if, you know, it's a little bit inflated, I love how the proportions are still very nice. I'm sure this looks just like whoever it is you're drawing. And so well done. You've also captured the skin really nicely. And I love the shadowed area on the side with like the highlight that just pops around it. I just think, this is a really, really, really nice job. Improvements wise, I'll just come down to detail in the hair. So you've got nice highlights, but you want to come back in with the white pencil that you used and you want to come back in with more strands. So this looks like a nice base layer because you've kind of shown what areas that you're covering, but I want you to come in with more actual strands of the hair, like how you've got some loose strands around the edges. I want to see more of that. And also around his face, You've got a black outline, which I don't know if that's your style. So if that's your style, then that's fine. But I wanna see more of the loose strands. I just think that's what will tie the hair together really nicely. And the beard, it could definitely do with some more detail. It's just a nice shape overall, but just more deep, more hair-like strands for the hair and the beard would just really tie this together. Other than that, I think you've done a very fine job and I really love this style. Oh, this is a drawing of me. That's so sweet. I guess that's one way to get my attention on this hashtag. So this is by Tony Cummins 81. And oh, I feel so, <laughs> I feel shy. <laughs> the caption says, see loader. I apologize if I pronounce that wrong. 11 drew a portrait of Tammy Danto, her favorite YouTuber. That is so sweet. And at age 11, at age 11, I could not do this at age 11. So I'm, I'm so excited for your future, but this, this is pretty nice. I feel like, ah! <laughs> guys, I'm getting shy. I'm actually feeling a little bit shy because I think the colors, even the flow of the hair, the colors in the skin, the fact that we've got the highlight areas, we've got shadows, like I am so here for this. You should be so proud of yourself. I think you've just done such a fine job. Honestly, I feel even a little bit honored that you chose me as a subject, but um, I'm so here for it. If you can't tell, I am so here for this. And thank you so much. Thank you so much for drawing me. So improvements wise, uh, I would say on the, I mean, you've got my eyeliner on one side, so we want to match the eyeliner on the other, definitely. 
Um, and also details. So, you know what? I actually love the hair. I think you've just, the flow of the hair is just beautiful. I think you've captured that really nicely. I would say detail wise. So you want some loose strands coming off the end. You don't want the hair to be so clean cut. You also want to be a little bit neater around the edges. So, you know, and some of the shading, I can see that, you know, you've really gone in, but I can't tell what medium this is in. It looks like maybe the marker color pencil combo. And if so, you just wanna go over the edges and just clean everything up at the end. Also with the shadows, I can see some, you know, burgundy purples, so that's a great start. I want you to go a little bit deeper with the shadows. So just be brave and go even deeper with the shadows and the drawing would be even better than it is, but this is a fantastic start and age 11, I just think, I just think you've done a fine, fine job. So well done to you. Also, by the way, sometimes I get DMs and questions about pictures of me that some of you guys wanna draw. And if you choose to do that, that's cool. But I have a private Instagram, so it's just Temi Danso. Feel free to go over there to grab a picture if you want. I will always be honored to be a subject of one of your art pieces. Next, we've got this piece from Tokos underscore art. I think this is beautiful. I think this is beautiful. I love this style. I think she just looks so cute and I'm so here for it. I just love the proportions. I just love this style in general. I think it's really nice. And I really like the braids as well. I think it's just a really nice shape, really nice flow. Improvements wise, I'll say with your detail. And again, it might depend with the style, how much detail you actually wanna go into. But with the hair, I wanna see more of the strands of the hair. If you saw my first professional artist color and book series video, I show how I do braids and that will really help you with, you know, putting down the base color, then putting down all of the strands, all of the highlights, and then you can go back in with the marker and decide where you want to have the most shine or where you want to pull back a little bit. I think that would just help detail wise to get the hair together. But other than that, because I really love the style, I think you've done a fine, fine job. The only thing I would say is with the skin, so the skin looks a little bit muddy in places. I think you've got a nice mid-tone color, but I don't think you chose the right color for your shadows. I wish you went, so instead of this kind of dark brown, maybe you've got a limited set, that's why. But I wish you went a little bit lighter on the brown that you use for some of those shadows. And then for the deeper shadows, I wanna see the purples, I wanna see the blues. Um, and then on the other side where you've got the yellow, I don't think that yellow is a good match for this skin tone. So you've got a nice mid-tone skin color, but just watch your highlights and shadows. But fine job, well done. This next one is by Artie underscore Kenzie G. And I think you've done a fantastic job. It looks like a pretty big scale as well, so well done. The proportions are definitely on point. Detail wise, you've really gone in. I even like the detail you've got for the hairline. I think that is so nice. Also the loose strands, ah! Oh! It just looks so pretty. I'm just so here for it. I'm so here for it. Improvements wise, the main thing coming to mind for me is first with the brown skin around the perimeter. Again, it's the same thing that I've been saying with the shadows. I don't wanna see dark brown for the shadow for brown skin. And in fact, guys, you guys know, cause I've been teasing it a little bit. And if you're on my Instagram, you'd have seen sneak peeks of the self portrait I'm doing. And I'm doing a whole Skillshare class where I'm explaining and showing you which exact colors. So all of the blues, all of the purples, all of the greens I've been talking about, I'm breaking it all down. And this class will be out next month. So just keep your eye out for that. But hopefully when you finally see that class, you'll understand what I really mean by all of these supplementary colors, but you can't just pick dark brown. The drawing just looks flat and it loses some of its vibrancy. So just watch that around, you know, the perimeter and the neck. It just looks like, you know, a light brown and then a dark brown. Also with the blend as well. So I love the detail. Like, you know, everyone earlier that I was like, oh yeah, the detail in the eyebrows, detail in the lashes, Kenzie G is showing us how it's done. I just noticed on the side, 14 years old, 14. You guys are insanely skilled. The talent level, I am in awe. Wow, wow. <laughs> that actually caught me off guard. I'm a bit taken aback because this is absolutely incredible for 14. But anyway, we still want you to improve. So improvements, I would say the actual detail in the skin. So in this middle of the face with the white gray area. So I want you to focus on blending a little bit more. You've got really nice values, really nice contrast, but for some bits, I want a better blend gradation. And then also around the nose, I can't really tell where the nose ends properly. I feel like if you went even deeper with those shadows, it would just make this even more alive. But this, is brilliant. This is a fantastic start and you should be so proud of yourself because I'm proud of you for creating this. 
Okay, now we've got this one from Denny Drawings. And I think it's a great start. I can easily tell it's an elephant. So you've got perfect proportions. Your values are also really nice. You've got some really nice deep dark points. You've got the white tusk. I feel like this is a really nice start and it's gonna be hard for me to critique this without the reference, but you just wanna go even further with the detail. You've kind of started it in the trunk, but I wanna see even more detail. I wanna see with some of the markings you've got on the ear, I wanna see it blend a little bit more. I wanna see the creases. It looks like you might have blended with your finger. I wanna see you putting a little bit more care into the blend. So just trying to create a smoother blend if you wanna use tissue paper. I think if you got your blend together, then it would look even better. But also some of the shadowed areas. So you've kind of started with the shadowing and I just wanna see you go a step further with the shadows. And the last thing I'd say is with the background. So I'm not really sure what the background is doing. It's because part of it is like kind of darker and then it's kind of blending into light. Is that the background or is that the elephant's body? Actually, I can't tell. But I just want to see a little bit more separations. So maybe more defined shadows around the ears so that we can really tell because at the moment it's looking a little bit flat and I'm not sure what's going on with the background. But if you want to focus on the subject, then you want to minimize us getting distracted by the background. So just pay attention to that a little bit. But this is a fantastic start, so well done. And that is it for today. I hope even if your work wasn't chosen, I hope you're able to get pointers that will also help you with your work. And let me know, do you guys want to see a Temi Trash Talks every single month? I'll be more than happy to do that if you want to see it. If you want me to do yours next time, just use the hashtag Terminators and I'll look at that and critique some more of your work. So I hope you enjoy this one. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.